is coming very very soon now please listen very carefully if you don't grow your faith when the time of testing comes you will fail you will fall your faith will not be strong enough to stand against the wiles of the devil that will come against us the testings that's going to come upon the whole world you will not be able to stand the test and when the test of the mark of the beast comes how are you going to stand withstand from taking that mark your faith will not be strong when your faith is not strong you will not be able to strengthen the faith of your children so their faith is also very small the faith of your family is baby and when the test comes all the your entire family will be the first person to take the mark of the beast because you will not be able to stand strong let me close by saying this true incident that took place in Syria a few years ago a family of four father mother two children Christians, godly Christians, very prayerful seekers of the God. One day, the mother was praying, and she heard the clear voice of the Lord tell her, "My dear daughter, will you put offer yourself on the altar of sacrifice for me?" And she clearly understood what the Lord meant. It meant martyrdom. You know, there's a lot of religious threat in Syria and in the Middle East. So she. Did not hesitate to say yes, Lord. I offer myself on the altar for you. So a couple of days passed by, and as she was praying, one morning she heard the Lord voice say, "My dear daughter, will you offer your husband on the altar of sacrifice?" So she hesitated because how can she speak for her husband without him wanting to offer himself? So she got up from prayer. she met her husband she told him what the lord said and without hesitation the husband said honey let's kneel down and pray so they knelt down they held hands and husband and wife offered themselves on the altar of sacrifice okay a few days later the lord spoke they have two young cherubic looking children you look at them they have such a look on their faces that you want to lick them you know some children are such they have such a cherubic look on their face you just want to hug them and carry them with you all the time like that boy is one of them malak is he malakai malak malak is the man look at you is such a cherubic angelic look on his face you want to pack him and bring him home can i can i do that can i bring you home See, he's got such a smile. Say, you can try if you want. That's that's what the smile is saying to me. So that lady had two such children, small girls, eight and six. And the Lord told her, my dear daughter, will you offer your two children on the altar of sacrifice? She shot up from her knees, shocked at what the Lord said. and for several days she just could not decide what to do then after three or four, four days one day in prayer she brought her two children and made them sit on her laps and she spoke to her and she said you know one of these days bad men will come into our house they will kick the door open and they will have coats around their face and they will have a sword in their hand and they will kill mummy they will kill daddy when that happens you must never deny your faith you close your eyes tight don't open your eyes and see whatever screams or shouts you may hear just close your eyes tight and hold your little sister's hand tight and then later you will feel something sharp on your neck when you feel that open your eyes and look at the man who has put a knife on your neck 
and tell the man, I forgive you for killing my parents and Jesus loves you. So the mother looked at the two girls and said, do you all understand what mommy is saying? And the two girls perfectly understood what the mother said and the four of them knelt down. They all held hands together and they prayed and offered themselves on the altar of sacrifice. A week later, one morning, their door was kicked open and in entered four ISIS terrorists. And they shouted at the top of the voice at the father saying, Will you renounce Christ? When he said, No, the sword swung and his head rolled on the ground. And the girls remembered what the mother said. They quickly ran into the bedroom and the older girl held the younger sister's hand very tightly and told her, Close your eyes, don't look. Then sure enough, they heard another fall of a body, the mother's body. And in a little while, the older girl felt a sharp sword, something sharp on her neck. And she remembered what her mother said. She opened her eyes, looked straight into the eyes of the ISIS terrorists and she said, I forgive you for killing my parents and Jesus loves you. <laughs> The little girl's neck was cut, so was her sister's neck. The entire family died as a martyr. How is this possible? Because the mother's faith was strong, the father's faith was strong, and they strengthened the faith of their two little daughters. The whole family's faith was strong. How is our faith? How is your faith? How is your children's faith? You can only strengthen your children's faith if you yourself are strong. If your faith is not strong, how can you strengthen your own children's faith? Even if you don't get the call to die as a martyr, there is another test that's coming for the whole world, the mark of the beast, which is worse than martyrdom you know because martyrdom takes place in an instant you are skilled you are gone but mark of the beast you are going to take it for life you have to run as a fugitive from the government of the antichrist and if you run away and you are hiding here and hiding there you have no food to eat no water to drink what will you do how can you bear the cries of your baby crying for milk or crying for food? Can you hear their screams until they die? See, one baby is screaming and crying now. For whatever reason the baby is crying, I don't know whether it's crying because I'm preaching too long. <laughs> or for milk or whatever reason, I don't know. But there are many mothers and fathers here. You know the cries of your baby when they want food or they want milk. You know that very well. You can distinguish the sound of the cries. Right? Am I right, everybody? So can you bear the cries of your baby from hunger? Can you tell your baby, don't worry, child, even if you die crying Jesus you will be in Jesus presence don't worry no matter what happens mommy will not take the mark of the beast mommy will not buy food for you can you say that see this is a test that is coming very very soon this generation will not pass by without seeing the mark of the beast do you know that already the US, they have already implemented the chip being implanted in your hands? It's already started. It's not nationally implemented yet. But in many states, they've already started this. It's, it's on a voluntary program now. It's just a matter of time before they make it compulsory. And this is something that will be implemented all over the world not just in the US. 
So what are we going to do? That's why the, the word of the Lord to you this morning is don't remain as babies. Go up one step higher as adults. Amen? Thank you everybody.